So in this gameplay, you're going to see some pretty objective-based gameplay. Um, kind of funny though. I I was I was playing alone. I, I typically do play alone, and um, there was two teams, two full parties, or just about full parties, going against one another, and I happened to be put on one, and so they were going to try hard as far as trying to win the game. So. I went along with it, died a bunch of times, but I thought it, it's just more entertaining to see somebody try to cap flags, try to defend a little bit. Um, it's really, really fun to watch when both teams are playing the objective. It just is. So hopefully you enjoy the gameplay. Don't know. See old your old boy drama die a bunch of times, but, but anyway. Yeah, so you know what I want to do this commentary about is how things have changed. When I first started YouTube, or when I first started uploading Call of Duty videos to YouTube, I had a different mindset. You know, my mindset as far as gameplay was concerned was I wanted to make sure I played the objective and played it really hard because if you're playing Domination, you're playing a game type that requires you to win the game and, and cap flags and, and, and try to do things the right way, right? And I noticed that, um, and, and for a long time, if you look at some of my old videos, none of them were really great scores, you know, 30 and 5, 30, and 10, whatever. I mean, really, really nothing at all to to, uh, to brag about. Even the gameplays I put up now are really nothing that uh, not any of you out there couldn't do if you wanted to pretty easily. I'm not going to lie. I've had, you know, certain changes in my in my thought process which said to myself, you know, I really got to start focusing more on my gameplay because obviously the gameplay is what sells out there on YouTube. People want to see it. I, I even thought about having friends of mine who will not necessarily run support for me, but help me get better gameplays. You know, um, what does that entail? You know, running UAVs, counter UAVs, stuff like that. And uh, I'll have friends of mine that will tell me, you know, don't don't play the objective so hard. Don't worry about it. You know, get kills. You know, get a gameplay for YouTube. And that just so far, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not that type of player. I'm not a slayer type of player. You know, I'm a support player. That's who I am. I don't know how to play the game when I'm not playing the objective. I don't. I try to. In many of my videos, you'll see me running around crazy, um, not playing the objective really hard. I could do it for very limited amounts of time before I feel very lost if I'm not playing the objective. You know, if I'm not capping a flag, if I'm running over a flag that needs to be capped and I'm not doing it just to get kills. It's just not a comfortable way for me to play. I was introduced into this community pretty much by watching a lot of Hutch videos and Xcal videos. Wings of Redemption and, and so on and so forth and uh, and I was under the mindset what makes a good teammate, what makes a good player. It, it's somebody who's not selfish, it's somebody who's willing to give up their life for yours. Now I saw a video one time where Hutch killed himself to shoot down a, a attack helicopter or whatever and I thought to myself wow that's impressive, that impresses me more than any 12 gun streak could impress me. Um, that's somebody who has is not a selfish person, you know, and 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 that's kind of the way I've always thought the game should be played. In Modern Warfare Three, you know, things have changed significantly. Uh, I, I don't see a lot of videos where I read in the comments that hey, you know, cap a flag or hey, collect a tag or or stuff like that you know it, it just doesn't happen like it used to I think the mindset has has really changed I don't really blame the players who are slayers and get all these moabs in the game because they're just giving the audience what their fan base wants to see um, take me for instance you, you you have to change you have to you have you know what you want to do is not necessarily what, what people want you to do you know what I mean when it comes to me and my commentary my comment when I first came into YouTube, you know, my thought process wasn't, hey, I want to give uh, life advice and life lessons and stuff like that. But that's what people enjoyed. Do I enjoy doing it? Not always. You know, sometimes I'm pretty exhausted because in my real life, I spend the majority of my time doing just that. Whether it's counseling my daughter about whatever it may be, or my wife even, you know, to the point where I'm trying to convince or trying to relieve some of her stress by telling her, you know, things are going to be okay. We're going to be just fine. It's going to be hard for the next few years, but after that, it's going to be good. You know, I promise. I spent a lot of my life doing that. So when I do it on YouTube, sometimes it feels a little forced. Um, and I don't want it to sound like that because I, I, it is sincere, the words that I say, but, but a lot of times I just don't feel that it's my place to say them. Um, this community is... Uh, 
is I don't know. You know, sometimes it, it, it worries me. It uh, Some of the things that are said, some of you guys that are on Twitter that um, that we know your name, we know what your face looks like and uh, and stuff like that, you have to keep in mind of something, you know, something that uh, maybe because I'm older that it, it always, I'm al I always remind myself of it is that you know things that you put out there are there for a very 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 long time unless you delete them but they're out there for everybody to see a lot of you guys are just out there you know starting your careers going to college going to high school and uh, you don't want to make a mistake that somebody could save and keep and use against you later down in life you know if, if you're applying for a job and we don't know where this YouTube is headed and and how big it how much bigger it's gonna be but is somebody going to hire you if you're out you know, on videos on the internet calling people a faggot, uh, making racial statements that, joking or not, are extremely insensitive? You have to keep in mind of that. Long-term goals, and not just on YouTube, but beyond. I'm not saying you shouldn't have the freedom to say what you want to say. But have a little bit, if not for just you know, saying good things because you're a good person, say good things for a selfish reason. Because you don't want it to hurt you down the line, if, if that motivates you at least, if your own selfishness motivates you, that you don't want something to come back to haunt you, then don't say some of the shit you guys say. It's not that hard. You know, I understand frustration, I understand raging in a game, I've done it. Not to the extent of which a lot of people do it, but, but I've done it, I've got very frustrated, I've sent some people messages that I hope don't come back to haunt me, that I wish I hadn't, because somebody was camping in a corner somewhere. But uh, this community is just, uh, it, it makes me sad at times. It, it re really, really does. I just think that the persona that some of us have to put out there online is not the real people that we are. I know several people that off YouTube are completely different people, just really, really nice and kind people. But somehow, when they put themselves out there, they have to be this tough guy or this super obnoxious person. You don't have to be that, man. You know, to me, the, the, the main thing to make people want to follow you, want to subscribe to you on top of it, on top of how many kills you get over and above anything else is if you're a likable person. You have to be likable. I mean, nobody wants to hear somebody who they don't like. Um, nobody's going to back up somebody they don't like. Likeability is hugely, hugely important. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this commentary. Hopefully this community takes a turn for the better. I know that we have a, a tons and tons of awesome people and kids on it. And uh, this has been Serious Drama. Be kind, be good, be safe. I'm out.